Hello, good afternoon and welcome. Good to be back. It's the uh, Sunday the 24th of September and it's just about one o'clock. Right, uh, we'll start, this is the Commitment of Traders report. <coughs> we'll start with the Australian dollar. And as we can see from the chart, the commercials have got an extreme position. Uh, it's uh, the highest or the lowest short position they have had for quite some years. The uh, Australian dollar is overbought. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, it's come down off the highs. Uh, the speculators added to their uh, long positions and uh, it broke down quite nicely and actually went below the 20 day moving average on Friday. And uh, I should imagine quite a few of them got knocked out. <clears throat> the uh, commercials on the other hand have actually increased their short position. Uh, I've been waiting this for this for a long time, uh, but uh, I believe that this is gonna make a, a break. Now it's gone below the 20, it's gonna make a break uh, for the downside. So uh, we've actually broken the trend line that we had up here. We had this big candle down, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, we've now dropped below the, the 20 day moving average and uh, held it. So I'm expecting this to break uh, down to the short side. We have a commercial ratio, one of the largest this week, of 5.65 to one, <coughs> excuse me. The uh, RSI is just about below the 50, 49.68. And, um, you know, I'm expecting this to break down. This is the best uh, or the largest uh, diversion on the charts this week. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm expecting it to short uh, back down. <clears throat> British Pound. This has made a, a quite a large move down. This is as bearish as it has been for, I think a couple of years. I just put a two year chart up. <clears throat> yeah, uh, just about, just about two years. And uh, then it was at this high up here <coughs> and it, it broke down off the highs. Um, so we, we've got this high at the moment. Uh, uh, the British pound is way overvalued uh, and uh, I'm expecting it to break uh, short against the US dollar. Yeah, so let's have a quick look at the chart and I've got the picture in the wrong place. Whoops. Pound US dollar. <clears throat> Here you go. We've been um, we've been at the top of the range. Um, we're at about 135 at the moment. Uh, we have got uh, fairly uh, stout uh, resistance just above us. Uh, the um, risk to reward of this looks pretty good. Uh, we have a commercials <coughs> long ratio of 1.07 to 1 on the, <laughs> on the pound. But uh, that, that was a few days ago and I expect I expect this now, I think it's more or less got to the top of the range and I'm expecting it, this to break lower. Uh, we've got uh, <clears throat> quite a lot of evidence now for a strong dollar. Uh, we've got, um, I can just show you some more charts for the S&P and the Russell 2000 uh, where the commercials have made big changes and gone short. Um, you know, uh, so uh, I am expecting this to break down next week. We have cut our trend line and we have broken below the 69.1. <clears throat> Canadian dollar. We're in an extreme position again. Uh, we have uh, the uh, commercials uh, are opposed to the um, uh, speculators, which is what I, I like to look for. Uh, but they really have got a short position here for the Canadian dollar. We're expecting oil prices to move down <clears throat> and um, uh, we're expecting the Canadian dollar to, to move down. It, it has come down a little bit over the last uh, two or three weeks and the speculators have uh, increased their long positions and I would have thought uh, quite a few of them would have got knocked out on that. So it puts them off re-entering, you know. 
Canadian dollar. We, we've just broken up off this bottom here. Uh, we have got slightly above the 20 day moving average. We're still slightly below the 50 on the uh, RSI. Um, <clears throat> but uh, un unless it breaks below the 30.9, it still really is just sideways mo motion. Uh, the commercial ratio of 1.53 to 1 short for the Canadian dollar, so that's long the pair. And I'm expecting this to uh, to start uh, making fresh highs. Euro dollar. <clears throat> oh yeah, we better go on to the uh, yes, the euro. Euro. Well, the euro has made um, uh, a fresh high at about the 120. Uh, from there, it's actually made quite a few uh, big dips, and actually recently has made lower highs. Uh, we've seen one or two of the speculators uh, probably got knocked out and their position has been reduced and likewise we've seen a reduction in the commercials and so if we have a look at the chart <coughs> we're expecting this to uh, break down it is just about on the um, 20 day moving average I'd like to see it break below uh, we've got fairly uh, stiff resistance at about 122 where it is at the moment, I see it as a really good sell uh, reward, uh, risk reward, sell from here. Um, so anyway, uh, we're we're just above the 50. We bounced off it the other day, uh, and I'm expecting this to make lower lows. Uh, the US dollar <coughs> obviously is going to uh, get uh, a lot firmer over the next uh, four to six weeks. So we're expecting that to come down. Right, where we get next one. US Japanese yen. Here we go. Japanese yen. Um, this has uh, broke lower over the last few weeks. We've seen um, quite a bit of strength in the the pair, uh, and yeah, that the Japanese yen has broke lower. We've had uh, the missiles fire over to J Japan. Uh, the commercials have dropped. Their, um, their bullish position uh, so we, we've come down off the highs um, and uh, with the strength in the dollar uh, I'm not that keen on trading this at the moment but we're we'll going to have a quick look at the chart I mean there's just so so much better things with a lot better divergence on it uh, I've actually got the uh, RSI has made a, a quite a nice cross on my um, uh, on, on the chart here on the trend line, I would have liked that to have been a bit high. Whoops, a bit higher if I was looking to go uh, short it. Um, but uh, it has got a commercial short ratio. Sorry, long ratio for the Japanese yen, short for the pair um, <clears throat> of 2.25 to one. But as I say, I think there's a better trades out there, so I won't dwell on it. US dollar index right well it's actually gone a slightly over the zero line so we, we've got a very slightly bullish position by the commercials this is the most bullish they have been for the dollar uh, for two or three years so we've seen it come down uh, it's now got to this um, very bullish position and we're looking for it to uh, bounce back up we have made uh, higher lows over the, the last three or four weeks and we have seen a bit of strength in the dollar so we're expecting this to firm up uh, Mexican peso just a quick look although I haven't got a pair uh, we're still at an extreme bearish although we, we did see a big sell-off um, the uh, the peso broke down uh, recently and uh, it is made quite a good um, ah, lower position uh, which must have knocked out some of the speculators and obviously the commercials have mirrored them as they're only hedging. Next one we come to is the New Zealand dollar. Right, uh, we've come down off uh, the highs. <clears throat> we had a little bit of a break back up 
um, expecting that to turn round and turn back to the downside. But uh, we have got, uh, we are heading towards the zero line, but I am expecting this just to follow through. So if we go over to the New Zealand chart, uh, here you go, see we've got a little bit of a correction back up. Uh, I'm expecting to see weakness on this. The commercials have got a ratio of 2.3 short um, to one short. So <clears throat> we'll see what happens. It's not actually my favorite uh, pair. Uh, I will be looking um, on the crosses to get a, a better position. Uh, those will be in the member center, sadly, but uh, there you go. Silver. Not oil, where's metal? Silver. We've still got a fairly bearish extreme. We have come down off the highs. Uh, I'm expecting this to fall a bit more. Uh, we've come down to about 117, 1700, sorry. Um, and we go back to the chart. Yeah, we, we've fallen, we've come back down. Um, I'm expecting this to follow on through it, you know, um, I'm expecting it to go below the 30. I'm, as the dollar goes up in strength, obviously the price of silver will come down. So that's where I stand with that. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry, we'll do energies now. We'll, we'll do crude oil. <laughs> crude oil, yep. Well, uh, as ever, bearish. Uh, we've had uh, a bit of a pullback uh, the last three or four weeks. Uh, we're over the 50 at the moment. Um, and the uh, commercials obviously are fairly bearish this. So uh, I am expecting it to come back down. Uh, but obviously a high crude price gives it uh, a high Canadian dollar. You know, so um, the two follow through. When this comes back down, the Canadian dollar will, will follow through a few days after. So um, there you go, metals. Now the stock, this is the most amazing one actually, the Russell 2000. This has had a massive drop. The commercials were hellishly bullish of this. Uh, uh, it was about a two year, two year high uh, bullish position and they've dropped right the way off. This of course will directly affect the S&P 500. S&P 500, uh, that's slightly come off uh, the bearish highs that we had recently. Uh, so, um, uh, and actually the, it, it has actually made fresh highs the last two or three weeks. So um, we'll, it'll be interesting to see where that goes anyway, but um, there you go. Well, that's it basically for this week. So uh, thank you all for watching and um, sorry I've had a bit of trouble with my voice this week. Okay. Cheers now. Bye.